Not me looking like I'm fully about to film an apology video. Sorry, not sorry. Really clip. What's up and welcome back to another video. Whoa, whoa. Let's just start spilling some tea. Subscribe, thumbs up, post notification bell, woo do woo woo woo, whatever. Let's just get right into the tea. No, it's not tea. I, you know, look, I noticed something. So now I gotta put my two cents in it. You know what I'm saying? Take it, take it, take it how you want. As you all know, I'm a huge Tana fan. You know, I mess with Tana. That's that's my girl. We roll, you know what I mean? I've been listening to her podcast and I just kind of noticed something. So Tana has this new podcast, right? And on her podcast, she does it with her two friends, Hunter and Brooke. Hunter has been, he's on tour for a while. So in the last few weeks, it's just been Tana and Brooke. For those of you all who are not caught up on the drama, they were really good Judys once upon a time. And then Tana made this full expose video on Brooke where she called her Mindy. And she made this whole video about how Mindy, AKA Brooke, slept with her boyfriend in her house. Um, so, um, needless to say, they weren't friends anymore. Y'all get what I'm saying? Fast forward, the podcast comes out and for people who didn't already know, Brooke and Tana were back friends again. And a lot of people were like, Tana, how are you friends with this girl? She fully slept with their man at your house while you were there. Like, I mean, look, forgive and forget, but like, dang. On the podcast, Tana was like, well, I kind of left some parts out. Like, it really, like, wasn't like that. I really actually wasn't talking to him like that. Me and Brooke worked it out. Like, we're going to move on. And I was like, I don't really know how you bounce back from that. But I also get, like, YouTube is, it's a job. You over-dramatize stuff so you can get the clicks and the views. I'm not mad at her for that. But I'm just kind of like... You know what I mean? On the other hand, if it was a situation where the, if the story was exaggerated for clicks and for views, me as Brooke, I would be like, girl, no, we are not good Judies because you got up on this internet, you got me hate comments and death threats because you wanted to get on the internet and lie. If I was Brooke, I'm like, no, Tana, we can't be good Judies because you said you, you, you lied on my name. Now, unless they were both in on it and it was just kind of all a cahoots to try to, you know, get the drama rolling but at what point is it like like i know people make up stuff all the time and you exaggerate truth on the internet too because it's got to be juicy nobody wants to hear a boring story you know what i mean but at what point are you like okay yeah you can say that about me it's not real because it's still your reputation like is, is it like are you doing it for clout look i get it people people get people get together on the youtubes and like hey and plan out drama or whatever but like where is the line like okay you can say this this and this about me but don't say that because that's too far like y'all get what i'm saying like how far is too far but anyway so they're both friends getting back to the podcast so what i've noticed is especially since hunter hasn't been on the podcast and it's just been brooke and tana i kind of feel some energy between them that's like some fake energy you know what i mean and i kind of feel like brooke takes these digs at tana almost like you know how you're kind of like friends with somebody or you fall out with like a relative or something and you're kind of on good terms but you're still kind of salty about something that happened that's the vibes that i'm getting from brooke like she takes these little digs and stuff at her and i'm just kind of like why this fake energy one thing i love about tana like she's very smart she's very smart and i and i think she knows exactly what she's doing i think that i kind of see them being friends but i could also see tana because she knows how to work this youtube world so well i kind of also see her kind of putting up with brooke just to keep just to keep like the kids talking like are they really friends and this and that and da, 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 da. but it's then it's like how much are you are you gonna put up with like you're not gonna keep taking digs at me on my podcast just to keep some narrative going that oh we're friends and i forgave her and i lied on her and it really wasn't that deep i just overreacted he he like baby you don't have to be on my show and then Brooke, like if you feel that type of way towards Tana, then like baby, what are you doing? Because really you can't go get clout off of somebody else. You can't get clout off of your own name. Like I'm not I'm not bashing on Brooke. I'm just saying I mean look, 
I'm, I, I'm, let's just keep it real. Brooke has more to gain from Tana than Tana Brooke. And I'm just not going to be somebody's flunky so that a narrative can, can keep going. I'm not going to be your flunky because you don't have anybody else to do the podcast with. Like, I don't, like, I don't know. Like, and if Tana, if you lied or if you exaggerate and you're doing this out of guilt, if you're being friends with Brooke out of guilt or if you're trying to, like... Do y'all get what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm all over the place. I just notice it's like some vibes there. And it's kind of weird. Look, I don't know Brooke like that, but that one got an agenda. I can feel it. I, I just wanted to come on and document it. So then when something does go down, y'all can be like, mm, Chanel said it, Chanel said it. I don't know. Do you think that they're pretending to be friends out of some kind of benefit towards one another do you think they're not really friends behind the scenes and they just kind of agreed to like continue on with like this business deal to keep the hype going on around their name you think there's some kind of mutual understanding or you think there's some animosity on brooks end because she hasn't forgave tana for exaggerating do you think tana did really actually told the truth in the story about how brooks stole her man and is now downplaying it so that they can do this podcast together. No hate towards either one of these young ladies. I don't know them like that. I'm just going off of what I hear and the vibes. I, Tana, just be careful. Or Brooke, be careful. Like, I'm not gonna, we all know Tana's no perfect angel. Like, da, 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 da. but I'm just saying. But anyways, that's my two cents. That's what I think. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Find me on Twitter. Let me know what you think. And um, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Whoa, whoa. Bye. Thank you so much.